So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a really quick and fun and easy tutorial with you, and that is scrunchies. So this is a silk scrunchie. I made it with mulberry silk. I prefer the silk just because I find it's um, a little more gentle on my hair than other, um, than other fabrics that I've used, but you can use not only with the silk, you can also use satin, you can use knit, or you can even use cotton. So any, basically any fabric that you have, you can make this tutorial. And it is quick, it is easy, and once you get the hang of this, you could probably get one of these done in less than 10 minutes, probably not even that long. So stick around if you have any questions or comments, leave them down, down below, and I try to answer things as I can. So, all right, enough of the introduction and on to the tutorial. Okay, so here's everything you're going to need to make your scrunchies. Now, I prefer to use silk for my large scrunchies, but you can use any fabric you want. Um, you can use silk, you can use satin, you can use cotton. It really doesn't make any difference what you use, but I personally like the, um, I like the mulberry silk and how gentle it is with on my hair. So this is what we're using, and you can see I have my stash here. And these are the measurements that I'll be using. I like to cut six inches width, six inches by width of fabric. So however wide your fabric is, that's how I keep it. I just, I don't mess with that. I leave that the same. And then elastic, this is the elastic. Um, I prefer the, so this is swimwear elastic. You can use any elastic. And for these larger ones, I like the 3 8 inch. So that's what I'm going to use. So I will have, I will cut an eight inch piece of elastic and that's it. Okay, so that's it. Now we need to, um, I need to measure my silk and get started. So I'm going to make, um, I'm going to do this blue one. I need to make some black ones, but they're hard to see on video. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this light blue. Now, the thing about silks and satins and those type of fabrics, um, you could use your ruler and a rotary cutter. You can cut it you know, with scissors, but this is my trick of how I deal with satin and silk. I don't like to cut my silk or my satin on, um, I don't like to actually um, cut it, I like to tear it. So what I do, and you can see it came straight from um, the company that I bought it from. You can see how this is kind of jagged. So they tear it as well, they do not cut it. The thing is you want it to stay on the grain. So this is how you keep it from, this is how you keep your satins and your silks nice and straight. So I'm going to line this up, let me move this over. So I'm just going to line up my piece of satin here and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there is my six inches and it's, I can see through it. So I'm going to make a small mark right there. And you can see it's, and then I'm going to tear this. This is how you can cut this is how you can cut satins and silks and they're not going to be all wonky. And because it's so hard to cut, you know, with a, with a straight edge um, and keep this completely straight and it not shift and get off grain. So that, that right there, easiest thing. So I will go ahead and cut one more. And then I can do a whole panel like this and it doesn't take much time at all. So I'm just gonna line it up. And I don't worry about the rest of it. The rest of it's irrelevant, just this part at the bottom where I'm cutting. 
and count one, two, three, four, five, six, and just make a little notch and then tear it. And then it will be even, it will be six inches all the way down. All right, so now we have our fabric cut and we're ready to start putting it together. So the first thing we need to do, now that we have our six inch, we're going to take the right sides together, we're going to put them together and we're going to attach it. So we're just going to sew this seam shut And I'm gonna take this over to the machine and we're gonna sew this shut. Now, the thing about working with satins and silks is you want to be very mindful of your needle. So right now I have an, I have an 80-12 needle and that is way too thick to be working with the satins. So this is a Microtex um, 7010 that I like to use four. So I'm gonna go ahead and oops, go ahead and change out that needle. Oops, that one there. And I'm just using regular polyester. Okay, so got my needle changed and first thing I'm going to do is close this seam. So my right sides are together and I'm just going to do a So I now have my seam. I'm going to give this a little trim. I don't need all of this. Okay, so now I'm ready to fold my scrunchie. I have my seam sewn. I've trimmed off a little bit of the excess and then now I'm gonna get it folded up. So this is the burrito part. Let me go ahead and move some of the stuff out of the way and you're gonna open it up because you now have a tube. So we're going to open that up and we're going to put right sides together and make your tube nice and even. I'm going to take this bottom edge on the top and fold it towards the middle and then I'm going to take the top edge, the upper edge at the top and fold it on each other. So this is what it looks like. You have your, you have your top section folded together. And then we're gonna take the bottom, kind of hold, I kind of hold this in place. And then I'm gonna take the bottom and fold it over top. And again, right sides are together and we're gonna meet with that top edge. And then I'm going to hold it. You can hold it um, if you are, if you need to, you can pin it, you can clip it, whatever you need to do just to keep that together so that you keep, you can see the inside, you keep this um, part that we folded, that we folded up to begin with, you keep it tucked inside and make sure that you don't, yeah, so you keep it tucked in like a burrito and don't have, and don't let any of this get in between that, um, those pieces that we pinched together. And then I'm gonna take it over to the machine and I'm going to sew a seam all the way down. And as I'm sewing, I'll go ahead and show you here. As I'm, as I'm sewing my seam, I'm going to take this little piece and I'm gonna slowly move it. So it's going to keep, and it's gonna keep giving me more and more fabric to work with. So I keep sewing it. And then you see I get to the end, I just grab that little tucked burrito part and just keep pulling it through. And when it's all done, you're gonna have a big tube and it's going to pull, I'll show you what happens. 
So let's take this over to the machine and we'll get started. Okay, so I have my little burrito. There I have my little clipped piece where I clipped those two on the outside together. And now I'm gonna tuck that down in, keep it down in there. Because you wanna keep that in, you don't wanna sew through that in part. We're only wanting to sew through this outer, this outer section that we just clipped. So I take about, uh, about a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Now I can take this off. So you can see this is the roll that we just, this is the part that we just rolled up and you wanna keep that tucked inside as we go all the way around. So keep that tucked. When you get towards the end, when you get almost to the end, you can see I'm almost at the end. You just kind of lift this up and then you're gonna start pulling. So I'm just gonna pull and it creates the tube all by itself. So I still have that folded part in the middle and then I'm gonna keep So I keep my folded I still have my folded piece inside. And then I'm gonna grab this section and then I'm gonna start pulling my tube. Oops. I'm gonna line myself up again, make sure that this stays tucked inside. You don't want to make sure it's not going over here and you don't sew through it. I'm going to open it up, grab that folded part. So yeah, you can see it's still in there because we're only doing those outer edges. see I'm almost all the way around so still that little piece is still tucked in the ender there I'm just gonna leave a space big enough to turn Once you get all the way around, this is kind of what it's going to look like. So now you're going to open up that little hole that you created and uh, I think I've made it a little too small because it's going to be hard to reach it. And you just reach down inside and find where that tube started. I may have to get a tool. I didn't leave quite enough room for my fingers to fit down in here. 
actually, I'm going to just use the tweezers. Just trying to grab a hold of it. There it is. There is the part that we originally. Then you're just going to turn it right side out. And you're going to pull this all the way around and it's going to turn itself right side out. And now you have a fully formed tube. So now this is the only piece that we're going to have left to sew. So I'm going to cut eight inches. Now, this is my favorite little turning tool. It is from Clover, found it on Amazon, and if I can find the link, I will put it in the description. So this flips up, and you put your elastic here, and clamp it in place, and then I find my, there's my hole. So I'm going to start feeding it through and then once I get it in here far enough, I'm going to use my clip and hold on to it so I don't lose it. And then I'm just going to feed this all the way through. I love this little tool. It is so much better than either using a, so much better than using either a safety pin or one of those other little bodkin things that used to, um, that sometimes you would, um, it would fall off. And yeah, this thing is, this is the best tool I've found. Yeah, you really should make the turning hole a little bit bigger. So we're all the way around. I'm just going to unclip it and release it. Oops. I'm stuck on another one of those threads. And then I'm going to take it over to the machine. And I'm going to sew this seam. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this out and, I don't know, maybe go quarter inch to a half an inch. I mean, there's no rhyme or reasons, whatever you, whatever, however tight you want it to be. So, I usually do maybe about a half an inch. get it nice and even and then I'm going to top stitch it closed stitch it kind of close to the seam pieces and you're done and this is it this is such a quick and easy project I can have one of these made in just five minutes so it's nice it's full it's fluffy and especially with the silk it's really good for your hair okay so here is our finished scrunchie and you can see it's nice and full and um, with this uh, with this mulberry silk fabric, it's very gentle on your hair, and it's just a it, to me, it's a really nice, quick, easy project to do. And 
Once you do this one time, you're gonna see that it's not that, this burrito method is really not that confusing. So just in case you're confused to start with, one time you're gonna figure it out and then you're gonna say, oh, that was easy. But really, this is a very simple, um, quick and easy project to do. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and thanks again for watching.